Hi everyone and welcome to my morning report chart analysis videos on Wednesday 7th of March with me Rich Perry Market Analyst at Hunter Markets. We've got uh, a renewed bout of dollar selling which is um, taking place and also uh, safe haven flows are coming through the markets. We've had a resignation by Donald Trump's chief economic advisor Gary Cohen. Um, Gary Cohen has been a, a big um, advocate of free trade and, um, and the fact that he's lost the argument on uh, trade tariffs um, in the White House administration meant that uh, he has resigned and um, subsequently it sort of means that there's a protectionist shift in the uh, in the White House administration likely to now sort of uh, take place and subsequently we're seeing safe haven flows coming through the markets. Um, and also renewed dollar selling. Uh, we've also seen yields just rolling over uh, on the 10 year and also the two year. Uh, the dollar coming back lower sharply down yesterday. Breaking back below 89.50, that was um, sort of a reaction low within the recovery that now suggests that we are still gonna be going lower. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it certainly looks to be a move that uh, the market is not a big fan of. Um, we saw the S&P 500 trading slightly higher yesterday, although the futures are pointing lower this morning. We've got sort of weakness across the European markets um, as uh, we've also seen the Asian markets falling as well. So um, this is all sort of playing out as a renewed sort of uh, uh, sort of risk off appetite uh, on markets and um, yeah it looks to be sort of regaining the trends. Uh, commodity currencies all weaker um, as well the Aussie dollar, Kiwi and also the Canadian dollar. Um, oil prices is, is um, lower as well by about a percent um, amid fears um, of what uh, Trump's protectionist moves would do for global growth um, and uh, generally speaking yeah this is sort of risk off sentiment coming through the markets. Um, so what have we got to look forward to today on the uh, economic calendar? Well um, we've got Eurozone GDP that's the revised number at, uh, at 10 o'clock uh, expected to that's, that's the third reading uh, expected to be just flat at 0.6 percent uh, which would be slightly down from last quarter um, but uh, into the afternoon we've got the ADP uh, for the states ADP employment um, expected to come back to 195 now this does um, or some people see it as a as a read through to payrolls um, it has a mixed sort of um, mixed record on that but um, certainly the markets do look at ADP uh, and then also we're looking at uh, the Bank of Canada at uh, at three o'clock where is it there it is Bank of Canada not expected to move on rates um, with the uh, the prospects of this um, NAFTA deal that uh, Trump is um, barking on about um, that uh, he wants to um, renegotiate and uh, whilst that is hanging over the uh, Canadian economy l unlikely to see too much movement on rates. Um, weekly crude stocks expected to have an inventory build of 3 million barrels but uh, distillates and uh, gasoline expected to have an, uh, an inventory drawdown um, so watch out for that at 3.30 that tends to have an impact on uh, on the oil price but uh, yeah much to, um, much to ponder coming in towards the end of the week with the ECB, Bank of Japan and also payrolls on Friday. So we've got uh, my chance today, which is the Aussie yen. Now we have seen the yen strengthening um, on a relative basis, certainly today, uh, and the Aussie under a little bit of pressure. And certainly that uh, has reversed that uh, bullish candle that we saw yesterday. Interesting that that bullish candle hit 83.32, which was this resistance from these old lows back from February. So that old support becomes new resistance, market falling away. It did break that downtrend on an intraday basis, although not on a, not, I mean, you could argue it did on a closing basis as well. But uh, I think the market is still sort of in this selling into strength trend. And you can see that with the momentum indicators with the RSI, again, sort of ticking lower under 40. MACD lines sort of stabilizing a touch, but it'll be interesting to see now 
if that uh, initial break of that uh, downtrend channel does anything really um, and the uh, the resistance at 8330 uh, in place there I think is the key level to watch out for <laughs> that um, on a medium uh, near to medium term basis needs to be broken for the bulls to get any sort of real control near term and whilst that remains in place you're sort of still tracking lower highs low lows selling into strength and um, subsequently that's pretty much what we've seen today um, a test of 8150 was that um, sorry let's go back on the daily chart 8150 was that uh, kilo that we saw the other day a couple of times it hit and, and uh, was supported that was the kilo seen back in April 2017 which is a massively important support because it um, would complete a big big range or top breakdown which um, yeah that uh, wouldn't be great on a certainly on if you saw a consistent closing basis below 8150 that is not good but uh, for now certainly the downside pressure remains in place with rallies being sold into hourly chart you can see here um market rolling over at uh, 8330 area that old support and uh, again a little sort of minor lower higher 8306 now a test of um 82 figure uh, would be interesting. That was uh, today's early morning low, 8203 or 206? 8203. Um, and that sort of is protecting now 8150. So if you saw it below 82 figure, it would certainly suggest that 8150 is back in, uh, in play. So uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.